This episode of Texella is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. Patrick's been testing a new iOS-centric head unit for your car, Pioneer's App Radio. <laughs> Tell us about it, how it's been working. So Pioneer Electronics came up with a really interesting idea. It's the Pioneer SPH-DA01 App Radio 6.1 inch in-dash doubled in AV receiver uh, for the iPhone. I think that's like the complete Amazon name. Let me see if I can actually make it fill the uh, web page here. It's too long. It's too big. Um, and it's funny, it's, uh, it's an interesting idea. Use the iPhone as the brains of a double-din head unit with a big 6.1-inch capacitive touchscreen. So instead of paying $1,000 for a head unit with navigation software and an MP3 player and traffic software built in, one that's probably going to be outdated unless you spend a lot right. of time and you maintaining it. you have to pay for the it. updates, too. Yeah, which is really frustrating. You run the app radio app on your iPhone, you plug your phone into the cable for the head unit, and you get your mobile on. Um, with no iOS device plugged into it, it's basically an AM, FM radio. It's a clock radio with Bluetooth for a phone. <laughs> if you don't have an iPhone plugged into it. Um, if you do have an iPhone plugged into it, things get really interesting. You load the app radio app on your iPhone, and guess what? Uh, actually, something I should point out. I did not test the rear view camera monitor. Mm -hmm. So you can set it up that when you switch into reverse, it will activate the video input from a rear view, a rear view oh, camera. Oh, sweet. Good. So you can yeah, have like integration the, for that, too. It's a big plus. Um, and I installed it in uh, the family Subaru. Um, and the, the thing about the apps that are available, uh, so you have to have the actual app radio app running. <laughs> Note to self, never let small child touch phone in the morning before a demo. Um, because then you'll have to search for an icon that you've been clicking on for a month. Um, so once App Radio is loaded, you, you click on the Apps button, and there's uh, contacts, calendar, photos, Google Maps from your phone. And then there's third-party applications that are basically not uh, iPhone, duh. MotionX GPS Drive is good, the built-in GPS antenna. There's basically an antenna you can install with the App Radio is a nice touch. Inbrix traffic is great. I use it all the time. Uh, there's also Pandora and RDO are also built in. Thing is, though, that's it for third-party applications at this point. So they basically built this infrastructure, and there's ties to make it work with the app radio application, but uh, there's not a lot of third-party apps. The basics are covered: navigation, and traffic, and Pandora, and Google Maps, and contacts, and cool. like a lot of Pioneer head units, there's just not a lot of apps. I want. Can you tell that I want more apps? Apparently, you want more apps. I want more apps. Um, like a Apparently. lot of. Apparently. App. Oh. Your Tom is showing. Yeah. Um, like a lot of Pioneer head units, um, they built in Bluetooth. They also actually have a microphone that comes with it. So you've got hand free phone to use covered without spending another 150 bucks for an extra box to bolt into your car. I'm looking at you, Alpine. Please, Alpine, build a head unit with built in Bluetooth. Execution of app radio is not perfect. Um, it takes a little time to get used to not being able to touch the text in the iPod section. There are the little triangles that you use to navigate and a go to button instead of being able to touch it's not the fully song touch titles. Screen. For, or for the touchscreen the, works across the whole thing, but not for selecting specific tracks. Right. So that was a little frustrating, the iPod tunes. And switching between like Pandora and Motion X requires using the iPhone, since there's no back button in the app on the screen. And well, hopefully that doesn't it, make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, but hopefully there's going to be a firmware update that's going to repair that. Okay. Um, I love the screen. My wife thinks it's too bright at night when she's driving. And getting down to, it does have a, a light level sensor, but to have it bright enough during the day, because of where it's positioned in our particular car, you pretty much need it up at five, uh, which is way too bright at night, and it doesn't dim it enough at yeah. night for, for my wife. Audio quality is acceptable. It's like a four-channel, 50-watt MOSFET amp uh, to drive the speakers in your car through the, uh, uh, through the uh, giant mess of cables that I should know, the, the harness in the front. There's only one set of stereo preamp out, so if you are a super car stereo geek that has external amplifiers, you're probably going to wait for the next version of app radio. I like the concept a lot, mm -hmm. and this is essentially this is a really interesting concept. They're getting it out there for about 310 bucks. So, in one sense, if you want a big giant navigation tool for the for the dashboard of your car, it's really cheap compared to a lot of the full like six inch head units that have been out there the last few years. Because yeah. most of them are like 700, 1500 bucks. Um, but we want more firmware updates, and we want more preamp outputs. More and more apps. More apps. More apps. More apps. <laughs> we got apps. <laughs> we have. We want more apps. Uh, there's more Texella coming up right now. Um, but before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors, the 2012 Ford Mustang. Ford is back as a sponsor of Texella again today. We've been having a great time driving the 2012 Ford Mustang around the city and around the state. And let me tell you something: this car turns heads wherever you go. 
Sync App Link is built into our new Mustang, lets you control various apps on your phone using only voice commands, which means you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Ford's working with developers around the world to build out app compatibility, and we'll be showing a few of the current apps Sync. over the Please next few command. weeks. Play Operation Ivy Radio. I love technology, and remember, Sync allows you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Thanks again to Ford and the 2012 Mustang for sponsoring Techzilla today.